Hi, it's Mindy with Astrology by Love, here to bring you an awesome series on the moon. So we are going to go ahead, jump right in and get started. Uh, I wanted to mention a few things first. So the moon in astrology is our emotional body. It uh, shows how we process, how we feel, uh, contain, express, and perceive emotions. Um, if you are born at night, then the moon expresses uh, more frequently. So, uh, and sometimes, a lot of times, is more important than the sun. A good celebrity example of this is Tony Robbins. So, Tony was born at night. He is a Pisces sun which is sensitive, intuitive feeling, and we do see that energy in Tony, but he expresses as more of an alpha male. Uh, being born at night, he was also born when the moon was in the sign of Aries. So that is a lot of times where his alpha male energy comes from, his uh, dynamic go-getter accomplishment attitude. So that's uh, an example of a celebrity born at night, and if you two are born at night, uh, your moon may express more than your sun, and that would be normal. Uh, the moon is also influenced by the house it is in, and uh, the moon represents our mothers or mother figures in our life, um, as well as the women that we are attracted to and that we attract in. So in a man's life, the moon represents the type of woman that once again he is attracted to and who also embodies the energy that his moon carries. So uh, sometimes and a lot of times in a man's life, uh, that moon energy comes through in uh, the women in his life. Um, we are also going to talk about the stars and what degrees of particular signs these stars are in and uh, how they affect the moon when the moon is in line with these stars. Um, know that when a planet or point is culminating or coming closer to a star, that energy is building. Um, once it passes by, it's, uh, it's kind of built. There's like a pressure release. It quickly lessens and then fades away. Uh, also know that uh, angles from other planets affect your moon as well. So as a general rule of thumb, a sextile or trine brings a planet's energy into the influence of the moon by a pleasant way. It's complementary. It works together. Uh, if the planet uh, is in a square or opposition, then it brings that planet's moon, that planet's energy into the moon uh, in a, a frustrating uh, and a challenging way. So in the conjunction with a planet with the moon just depends on the planet. So, um, Different astrologers have different opinions on the moon's orb of influence. Some astrologers, um, like William Lilly, say that the moon has an influence on a planet up until 12 degrees. And uh, I've heard other astrologers say as little as 7 degrees. Um, some ancient astrologers did not use degrees when making charts and has sort of given us the impression that uh, the entire sign to another entire sign is included in those energies. Uh, the stars influence the moon so that the nature of the moon is not lost. Uh, it just adds an extra layer of energy, a different energy. As with all energy, sometimes one is stronger than the other, but the original moon energy in that sign is still accessible on some level. Um, also note, not all of these star placements are fantastic. So, um, you know, instead of massaging the edges of the truth, uh, I do have to say some negative things about a few positions. Um, please don't shoot the messenger. There seems to be a balance of some sort in the universe. So, uh, some of these places are thought of as beneficial and others are not. Um, also notice some of these stars don't necessarily completely change the moon. They just amplify certain characteristics. So it may not be as much as a different thing as much, but uh, more a characteristic is just intensified. Um, one other point to consider is that a star has been known to influence the opposite point. So if your moon is behaving differently than the sign and there is not a star at that particular point, 
check the opposite zodiac and see if there was a star at that point. Um, I don't cover that in these videos. Uh, I'm trying to make these not be super long, but I also want them to be informative. So uh, if a star isn't there, check the other side. And uh, for these videos, uh, just as references, I have used uh, Claudius Ptolemy's Tetrabiblios. I have used uh, Vivian Robson's The Fixed Stars and Constellations in Astrology book, and also uh, the websites astrologyking.com and constellationofwords.com. Uh, doing research and going through all this, something I did notice was that Vivian Robson always had the most negative interpretations of the stars. And I thought, hmm, what's going on there? So I looked up his chart and uh, his moon is two degrees away from Saturn. It also has a mild square to Mars, which can readily cause a negative outlook on things. Um, and just so you know, this astrologer that you're listening to right now, her moon is in Capricorn, which is also ruled by Saturn. So I'm going to try to keep this light and upbeat, but I do want this to be truthful and honest and also provide insight for you as well. Um, and one last thing, uh, please note that I have read about all of these stars several multiple times. Um, I have not necessarily had conversations with astrological scholars about each and every one of them. Um, at the moment, I type out my readings in order to um, give myself time to best describe uh, what is going on in the best possible way. So I have read and typed uh, all of these names at one point or another. I have not necessarily spoken about them. I am not fluent in Arabic or Latin, or even Chaldean. So uh, I'm going to pronounce these names the best that I can. Uh, if I mess one up or mispronounce it, which will probably happen, and you know how to properly pronounce it, please let me know down below in the comments. I would love to learn the proper pronunciations of these names. Um, once again, thank you for watching, and we'll get started. One more thing, I have put the names of the stars down below in the description box next to the degree it is at and have the time that it appears in the video right next to it. Enjoy! Capricorn Moon. The Capricorn Moon is not comfortable with extreme emotions, whether from themselves or others. Uh, the Capricorn moon likes to have purpose when it comes to relating and spending time with others. Uh, they won't pop by for no reason, just to hang out. Uh, they like to know what's going on and what to expect. Uh, they feel anxious and annoyed when plans fly out the window. The Capricorn moon feels better about oneself when they are able to use self-control and discipline in order to accomplish something. Uh, they will not hang out with just anybody and need to have a certain level of decorum in the people they are close to. Uh, the Capricorn moon is judgmental. It is ruled by Saturn. They just can't help it. Even the most enlightened Capricorn moons will have a judgmental thought and then catch it and judge themselves for having a judgmental thought. Uh, the Capricorn moon does best with goals and when competes. And they compete to win. They do not compete for fun. The Capricorn Moon is patient and loyal to those they love, sometimes to their detriment. Uh, ambitious and really needs to succeed and make a lot of money in order for their ever-present mild anxiety to go away. Will not feel good about themselves without a lot of money. The Capricorn Moon is traditional in some way. May not be able to tell by looking at them, but there is a conservative, practical, and traditional streak somewhere in their life. The Capricorn moon typically gives a mother who is more concerned with performance than feelings. Expectations and condemnation abound. This moon is ruled by Saturn, while warmth and kindness are typically looked at as weak and unnecessary. The mother is a taskmaster and disciplinarian and wants her child to have the trophies and to win. 
The first star we come to in Capricorn is Spiculum. Spiculum is at one degree in four minutes of Capricorn. Uh, depression and a tendency towards being a victim of religion is associated with the moon here. Displacement can also cause poor eyesight and accidents that cause blindness. Amy Winehouse's moon is 40 minutes away. Uh, I remember a friend of mine telling me she had bought Amy Winehouse's CD back in black after hearing Amy's Jewish mother beg people not to buy it due to her daughter's sinful lifestyle. Uh, critical mothers come with Capricorn moons and being the victim as reli of religion is part of this star, about a one degree orb. At one degree and 16 minutes of Capric Capricorn is Al Nassel. Uh, the moon here struggles with eyesight as well, but also poisons, whether toxins in their environment affecting them or drugs or alcohol. These natives are much more sensitive to it than most. Remember for a man, it could be his mother or lovers that struggle with eyesights or poisons. A little over a one degree orb. Next is Polis. At uh, three degrees, 13 minutes of Capricorn, uh, the moon in line with Polis here is a very fortunate position. Very ambitious with lots of energy and able to succeed. An almost regal nature is bestowed upon the natives, a well-mannered elegance, so to say. When they set out to accomplish something, they normally do. Able to outwork the average person, natives with this moon are usually very successful, and if it is poorly aspected, they at least appear successful. The Rock Dwayne Johnson has his moon just under a degree away. I've done a video on the Rock's chart, so you can check that out. About a one and a half degree orb of influence is what this star uh, Polis has. The next star is Caus Borealis. Uh, it's at six degrees, 19 of Capricorn. The moon here is concerned with learning and doing better and bringing improvement to their social hemisphere. They are passionate about this. This is someone who would start a reading book club for underage children or fund research to find out how to, be to better a socio or economic cause. Uh, justice, fairness, and social ideals are important to these natives. Keep in mind that people's social ideals do differ greatly. Melania Trump's moon is 10 minutes away from Caus Borealis. Um, this star has an orb of approximately one and a half degrees. At eight degrees and 16 minutes of Capricorn is Faces. Um, focused, driven, and ruthless, the native whose moon is here gets what they want regardless of the damage or destruction it causes. Some astrologers consider this to be the most evil star in the sky. Adolf Hitler's moon was somewhere nearby. There is a range for his birth time, but his moon quite likely was lined up with this star. Feelings aren't real common with this moon, and cold detachment is probably your best case scenario. Natives with the moon here are also more prone to accidents and violent deaths about a one degree orb. The next four stars blend their energies uh, depending on where the moon is located amongst them. Their energy touches and affects each other for sure. The first star is Nunki. It's 12 degrees, 23 minutes. Um, Nunki, the moon here is innocent. It has a deep faith in God and knows that everything is going to work out for good. They do well in ninth house matters such as religion, politics, and higher education, and people in these fields are happy to help them succeed. Prayer and meditation are musts for the native with this moon placement, a little over a two degree orb. Uh, next is Acela. Acela is at 13 degrees, 38 minutes of Capricorn. This is a continuation of the good energy from Nunky pretty much except it gives more interest in writing and reading and studying religious subjects as well as political ones. The native is very fortunate, favored, and good-natured as well as, as having a very kind heart. Orb of two degrees, Johnny Depp's moon is at 13 degrees, 49 minutes, which is only 11 minutes away. At 15 degrees even of Capricorn is the star Manubrium. 
Manubrium, uh, when the moon is in line to it here, has a quick temper and can be stubborn. Very masculine and definitely comes through to save the day. A mind that is constantly going even when they are not. A good placement for a military strategist. Capable of accomplishing a whole lot in this world. About a one and a half degree orb of influence. Next up is Vega. Vega is at 15 degrees, 19 minutes of Capricorn, a most fortunate placement. The moon here is verbally expressive of how they feel, and normally natives with the moon here are kind, positive, and loving with their words. Popular, especially among women, this native is at home and feels good around beautiful things. There is a warmth from deep inside of them that draws others in. They can't help but be generous and sweet. Normally talented artistically, these natives see the silver linings in the bright side of things. A little over a two and a half degree orb. Next in line in Capricorn is Sheliac. Sheliac is at 18 degrees, 53 minutes of Capricorn. Uh, the moon here is artistic and probably has a sweet and beautiful voice. Art and music soothe the native soul. There is a tendency towards dishonesty, but more out of fear of hurting one's feelings with the truth rather than an evil or sinister need to do wrong. Remember that for a man, this can manifest in his mother or lover. They may be the ones with the beautiful singing voice. Approximately a one degree orb. Deneb is the next star. 19 degrees, 48 minutes of Capricorn. Passionate and a little controlling. This moon is a born leader. Able to do well under pressure, very proud and open-minded, this moon placement normally allows for at least some measure of success in life. About a one and a half degree orb. Peacock is the next star. 23 degrees, 49 minutes of, Pap of Capricorn. As one would expect with a name like Peacock, this star gives the moon a love of vanity. If they could walk around in a ball gown and tiara all the time and not look crazy, they would. Looking good equals feeling good with this placement and able to believe that people wouldn't think of them as fabulous. There is an enjoyment of the spotlight as well, about a one and a half degree orb. And last but not least, we have Terabellum. Uh, Terabellum is, has an influence between 15, 25, 51 to 27 degrees and four minutes of Capricorn. Uh, this is actually a cluster of four stars with all the same energy. The moon here is probably at home around vulgar yet wealthy women. There is a perversity here in morals and sexuality. They get what they want in underhanded and manipulative ways and don't feel the least bad about doing it. These, star do, these stars do lean towards the native accumulating wealth, but also has troubles along the way because of how they get it. Uh, this energy can manifest with the moon anywhere from 25 to 28 degrees of Capricorn. Uh, celebrities with their moon in Capricorn are Amy Winehouse at zero degrees, 24 minutes, Brad Pitt, 22 degrees, 50 minutes, The Rock, Dwayne Johnson, two degrees, 19 minutes, Melania Trump, six degrees, nine minutes. Johnny Depp, 13 degrees, 49 minutes. Kourtney Kardashian, 10 degrees, 53 minutes. Matt Damon at 22 degrees and 57 minutes. So that is the rundown of the Capricorn moon and all the stars that are in it. Thank you for hanging out with me today. I enjoyed it. Uh, please like and subscribe and leave your comments down below. And uh, I appreciate you watching. Thank you. Have a great day.